this year at the ESMO 22, during the Gaini session, we see three important trials, changing practice from, for two of them. The first one is a solo one exploring a maintenance with PARP inhibitor alone in the BRCA mutated population who respond to a platinum-based chemotherapy. The second, the Paula one, we explore the maintenance combination Olapari plus Bevacizumab in the uh, ITT population, including BRCA and non-BRCA patients. And the last one, the IL-4, exploring the Rucaparib as a treatment in the uh, relapse setting for ovarian cancer. During ESMO 2022, we have the results of the solo one data for overall survival. It's not the final analysis, but it is an interim analysis after seven years of treatment. This uh, trial explores in BRCA mutated high grade ovarian cancer who are in complete or partial response to a platinum based chemotherapy to receive a PARP inhibitor, Olaparib, versus placebo. The results report several years ago how the progression free survival was improved with the PARP inhibitor. And now we have seen that we also improve the overall survival with another ratio of 0.55 in this particular population, changing our practice definitively and for a long time. During ESMO 2022, Beyond the solo one results reporting a benefit in the BRCA mutated population advanced ovarian cancer, we also see the results of the PARLA1 trial with a trial, a phase three trial with more than 800 patients. This patient received platinum based chemotherapy plus BEV and they randomized to add Olaparif to BEV as a maintenance treatment. We also report positive results in the HRD positive population, including BRCA, with another ratio of 0.62, reporting a benefit uh, uh, to uh, decrease the risk of death of 38% in this population with this combination. In the HRP positive population, we don't see a benefit to add Olaparib to Bevacizumab. We did not see this in the progression-free survival, and we confirm no advantage in overall survival. Also, we don't see any issue in terms of safety, and more specifically, uh, we don't see more myelodysplasia, leukemia, or new primary malignancy compared to the control arm. There's also a standard of care will change for HRD positive population. Now we have the possibility to treat this patient with bevacizumab and olaparib, and we have perhaps the possibility to cure this patient. During ESMO 22, we also see the result from the Ariel 4 trial exploring the Rucaparib as a treatment and not as a maintenance in the relapse setting compared to uh, standard of care, who could be a platinum based chemotherapy for the platinum sensitive population or a monotherapy with weekly paclitaxel for the resistant population. Also, we have seen a benefit in progression-free survival using the Rucaparib in this population versus chemotherapy. When we look at the overall survival, that it is a result of this year, we don't see a benefit using the PARP inhibitor instead of the chemotherapy, and more specifically in the resistant population. That means that the PARP inhibitor as a treatment for patients who receive at least two lines of chemotherapy before did not seem a good alternative for our patient, and we need to continue to propose chemotherapy for these patients. Mm -hmm.